Hello America, I hope you're doing well. Okay, so I forgot to talk about Michael and Natalie. Um, Michael needs to have done more, you know. Um, he can get her some hand warmers. He can get her, you know, a blanket. He can get her something because she's complaining about being cold. And Natalie can stop um making that face and acting like she's in a dramatic or, or a drama or an anime she acts like she's in an anime <gasps> you know that noise that the anime characters be making when they get whatever you know it's just really getting on my nerves because it's like they made the french toast she could have said, yo, this is like not the healthiest. Do you have anything else? Or like, oh, bro, I can't eat that. That's too much. But she didn't. Then they're driving into town. And he's like, she's like, I want to go to this waterfall. And after he says we aren't able to go for about two weeks, she's like, why, Michael? Let's go now. Let's go. We can go next week. And it's like, girl, you... Even if one Natalie is 100% correct in her, you know, thinking that uh, Michael wasn't as prepared as he needed to be to, you know, see her or to have her come. And, you know, she doesn't feel as though he, uh, she is a priority. Even if she is 100% correct in that. The way that she is saying it and the way that or she's the way that she's not saying it and the way that she's trying to like beat around the bush and and. I don't know the way that she's doing her face and everything. It's like, girl, no one's going to care because it's annoying. You're annoying. You're annoying. You're annoying. You have to stop being annoying because it's like if you present your information incorrectly, then people aren't going to care. And, you know... I get that she's saying it's a small town and everything and you know she ain't gonna have nothing to do and I understand all of that but it's like ma'am can you do this better because then she gets out the car and she's like I need time alone and then she's crying and he's like why are you crying and she's like I don't know and, you know she could be overwhelmed she could have a lot of emotions that she's not expressing but at the same time it's like you are kind of a little bit acting like a child and also expecting this man to read your mind and know that you want x y and z and that you need apples and oranges and that you want to go to the waterfall and that he should just call off of work and say forget work and just it's just a lot so yeah that's it that's my um that's my little added part and so back to what you all were watching goodbye welcome to my review of 90 day fiance season 8 episode i don't know I would like all of your good energy to be directed this way because uh, my car needs a power steering pump and I need to find someone to do it. So yeah, and also I'd like to let you all know that Air Mac Jewelry has just dropped the new collection, the Earth Collection. It is available on uh, the media platform M-I-I-R-I-Y-A. Dot com and then you can search for Air Mac Jewelry. Um, my links in my bio are not updated, so I need to update those. But also, if you shop on the <clears throat> also if you shop on the media platform, you will get a dollar off of one item, two dollars off of two items, you three dollars off of three items, four dollars off of four items. You get it. So let's get started <sighs> Andrew and Amir it was really simple they are going to Mexico City he walking in the damn airport with no mask on the mask is on his chin I don't understand what is that protecting me or my children from when you have your mask on your chin but anyway the mask is on his chin and then 
he receives a text message from Amira's father saying that she was detained in Mexico City. He is shocked, appalled. But the thing is, you know, this is your fault. Well, I mean, it's her fault because she has free will and she didn't have to do it. But it's your fault. You thought that your American self was going to be able to, you know do whatever you wanted because you were an American and you thought that she was going to also be able to do whatever she wanted because she's your, um, she's a fiance of an American and they detained her. And when he called to speak to the police, they didn't speak English and so they hung up on him. But it's like, aren't you at the airport? Can't you just say, where's the police? Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm just a little confused. Hold on. Y'all remember when I had my big cup? Well, in our temporary home, my big cup is not able to be big cupped. So I got this. I think it's I think it's a half a gallon, and I'm I never drink. Oh my God, y'all. Let me tell you. I used to be so good i used to be so good y'all used to be so good drinking my water not all of it but i think um i would drink down to 7 p.m which would be like enough water for me and my body and um my weight <sighs> and now i just be drinking like this much and i'll probably fill it up again to probably like 3 p.m. but that is not enough water it's not enough anyway I'm sorry you're not here for that so um, I'm definitely gonna take another sip of water we see Rebecca and Zied now I seen something on reddit talking about um, they weren't they are an immigration lawyer and this is not how the process works as far as like the I-295 girl that is a highway the I-295 being approved and then the you know I-21 I don't know y'all I don't know the I-21C I don't know I don't know um anyway whatever being approved because the immigration layer layer lawyer was like this is not how the process works then somebody was talking about continuity errors um with michael and natalie although i did not see them and the hour and a half kind of flew by watching this show and i wasn't gonna go back and watch it again so but anyway Rebecca finds out that Zied has gotten approved. I will say that Zied looks 1,000 million percent better. And I know that we've seen Zied, you know, on previews and everything. And I know that they probably showed Zied before this. And I'm I'm by, like, no means saying Zied is bae, zay, zay. Zaddy, none of that. I'm not. I'm not at all saying that. But Zed looks 100% better than he did. A little dry lip going on. Anyway, Zed looks 100% better than he did when we first met him with that long hair and the a little maybe too tight shirt. He looks a lot better. Um, he is going to be making his way to America. I'm a little bit confused on the timelines because as we know, Amira and Andrew are in, in um, Corona times. And I know that Rebecca lives in Georgia. So I know they really don't care about Corona, but I'm confused. Like, how is Zed able to come over here if there is a travel ban? You know, all of this stuff. So I'm really confused on the timeline. But obviously his mother and his father are, you know, sad that he's going to be leaving. Um, but they are very happy or... Rebecca and Zed are very happy that they're going to be together again. The window is open if you hear any noise because I'm hot. Like, I'm, I'm beautiful hot and also I'm hot. So, uh, we see 
Julia. She's on the farm. And what really blew me about this whole like farm thing is when his mother said, so tomorrow you can just start helping the animals, feeding the animals. And I was like, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Can she not have a full-time job as soon? She could have came here on a work visa. The way y'all trying to work her, she could have come here. Bro, it went from... I just got here, I'm about to have a dinner, then we going out to see everything, then we go back to the farm, then I'm getting a, a tour of the house. I'm getting a tour of the farm and the house. Y'all ought to be ashamed, okay? You ought to be ashamed. Not putting that woman in the room with paint cans. with 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 storage units not putting her in the room it's like y'all said we can't sleep in the same bedroom then i look at his bedroom his bedroom's clean it's a bedroom come to my bedroom it's a storage closet not a closet it's a storage area paint can big big paints big paints it was something else in that room that I cannot remember what else was in that room. But I seen the white storage and I seen the paint. And then it was something else in that room. And I was like, huh? What? And obviously Julia was like, I mean, I said it was nice, but it's a storage unit. And look. I, I'm I'm a little bit confused on the whole. Like I get it. Okay, whatever. You don't sleep. Don't y'all can't sleep in the same room. Okay, whatever. We we understand that. We get that. That's fine. Well, it's not fine for me. Wouldn't be fine for me. But whatever. That's fine. But I, I'm I'm getting a little annoyed because the whole sleep together. Like literally sleeping together. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like when she said I just don't want to sleep alone. I really I mean look, yeah, they might do it, but it's like people just do sleep, you know, in the same bed together. You know? And it was like what the father was like, I think he needs to put his foot down and tell her that it's disrespectful to try to sleep with each other in his parents' house. What do you mean? Like, sleep? Like, actually, like, go to sleep with one another? That's disrespectful? Like, I was just really confused. And, you know, his parents, hey, hey. And then you could clearly see that Brandon is a child. His father was like, no, you're going to listen to me. This is how it's gonna go, and this is how it's gonna be, see? And it's like... Oh, I ain't gonna say what I was about to say, y'all. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say, but it's hilarious. It's hilarious, and I also don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> so that's the end of Julia and Brandon. Oh, then they got crickets. Crickets in the kitchen. It's for the chameleon. I'll show you how to feed the chameleon tomorrow. I don't want to know how to feed the chameleon. I want to know why there are crickets in the place that you eat. The place that you prepare food. There are crickets. Ma'am, you couldn't have put the crickets in my rooms. It seemed like you didn't put everything else in there. Anyway, Yara and Jovi. <sighs> Ooh, Jovi. Jovi reminds me of someone. <laughs> Jovi reminds me of someone. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Jovi reminds me of someone. Ooh. Ooh. And you could tell he knew he was wrong. What, what, what do you want me to do? Yeah, look, we can get whatever you want. We can just get whatever you want. Um, He's talking about she needs to be, you know, she needs to compromise and work with him. No. I mean, 
bro, look. Compromising is one thing, but it was like, yo, can I get a rug? And he was like, no, I don't want that rug in my apartment. And she was like, wait, what? Your apartment? He was like, yeah, my apartment. And then he went outside and he was like, what? Why are you so mad? What? Like, you don't, you do you not understand where I'm coming from? No one cares where you're coming from. Literally. Because it's a rug. Okay? It's a rug. Like, Anyway, they get back home and he says something to her. Oh, he was like, um, well, you got a roof over your head, don't you? And she starts crying and he's like, look, look, I'm sorry. Because, okay. And then I thought that he had got it when he was like, I got to understand that, you know, she's here alone. And, and if she needs something, she's going to come to me. And then he was like, but she needs to compromise with me as well. Jovi. You need to have been, <laughs> you need to have stayed a bachelor, okay? You are not, you should just stay a bachelor, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you should just stay a bachelor, because it's gonna be, it seems like it's an uphill battle with everything that he says. Wow. I mean, look. Yeah, she, she, I don't know. She not giving me annoyance, though. Man, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling annoyed by her. If you all are feeling annoyed by her, let me know. But I'm not feeling annoyed by her at all. Anyway, let's talk about Stephanie, who needs to go to therapy. Stephanie said, I didn't have children because of the way that I grew up and my father was bipolar and it was like one day I didn't know if I was going to wake up and be loved and the next day I didn't know if I was and she was crying and I was like, that is childhood trauma, okay? She is with 27-year-old Ryan from Belize, you know. She was feeding her cat yogurt and I looked it up and they said, do not give your cats yogurt. So maybe it was a cat yogurt but they were blurring out the the um container of the yogurt but it looked like yo play yogurt she done brought over her psychic friend her psychic friend is telling her baby there's a shark in the water anyway it's a shark a snake is amongst us ryan happens to call ryan is like i don't really mess with all that you know psychic stuff but uh you know i don't know so she's been buying him gifts. She's basically his sugar mama. They've had trust issues because he's been talking to other women, you know, plot to plu, plot to plean, plot to pla. Um, when her friend reveals the teacup, the the seven cup, I can't remember what it was called. Um, when her friend reveals the seven cup card, and she's like, "Look, it's a snake up there," and then she's like. Well, the cards might be picking up on my infidelity. Home with Miss Stefani said, look, I was mad at Ryan. I was mad at Ryan. So, you know, I know I thought that it was over between us. You know, I seen him texting these other girls. I was done. I was over it. So his cousin Harris, I thought he said Paris, but he said Harris. Harris, you know, I had called and Harris was like, yo, what they do, baby? And I was like, you know, I, I partook in the sexual relations with Harris. Ma'am, she didn't slept with this man's cousin. I, why did you sleep with this man's cousin? Why didn't you go out and sleep with somebody else? Why the fuck you sleep with this man's cousin? She called his mama. Not her calling his mama. Talking about that's my mama-in-law. And you didn't slept with her brother or sister's child? Maybe, possibly, because it could be from his, his father's son. You didn't slept with her nephew or nephew in law <gasps> Lord Jesus when she said she slept with that cousin I said ma'am 
not everybody to sleep with. You wouldn't have slept with that man. Anyway, I'm done, y'all. I'm getting off of here. I want, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. I don't know. I mean, I guess she's just on here to promote her business. Skin envy. Make your skin the envy of everyone. Look, I don't know if that's their tagline, but if it becomes a tagline, hey, I'm going to need some money, okay? Or that cat. No, I want some money and the cat. Okay, Stephanie? If I tell you a little secret to everybody, okay? Anyway, I'm done. If y'all like this review, you can like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or visit my website. My name is Brielle. I make beats. I sing songs. If you like what you see, come on along. Bye.